I was actually prepared to film another recipe. I had all the ingredients ready. Then all of a sudden, Emma dropped this one and she got me a hello. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. I am Pia and today we are gonna be trying some mock recipes that look so extremely delicious. Emma Goody's last video, she just dropped three different mock recipes where she makes an eatable cookie dough, a brownie, and a pizza and a mock, which sounds very interesting. And we're gonna be trying them today. And actually, I'm super ready because I am starving. I haven't eaten anything so far because I'm ready to attack the mocks. And I have to say, Emma, you have to stop doing these things, okay? You're destroying my diet. You're destroying everything, okay? Start making things that are not good, please. Help me. Anyway, I have all the ingredients ready and this might take some time, so we are just gonna jump straight to these recipes. To begin, first she makes the eatable cookie dough, which that's the one that I'm looking for the most. I have to admit, I'm a cookie person, so this one is like, yes! Me love cookie! So the first thing she does is uh, cook or warm the flour. I have here the flour ready and I'm gonna put it in the microwave. She puts it for one minute. So I'm gonna be, do I've never done this, okay? So I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for one minute and then add the rest of the stuff. Okay, here's the flour. It smells very interesting, actually. Like I said, I've never done this. And she does say that it forms this little balls thingy, so we have to move it after it's done. Oh, it burns. We have to move it. You see here, there's like little clumpies. Like it has stuck to the bottom. Now you see? And to this, she adds uh, the rest of the ingredients. I have sugar here, salt. I have brown sugar also. I have normal sugar and brown sugar, which the brown sugar is kind of tricky. The brown sugar, if you guys have any tips, to storage brown sugar so it doesn't get completely glued together. I've done everything. I've like completely sealed the bag and put it inside a tupper and everything and it's still like, it gets hard rock. I don't know, I have to, oh, I feel like I always have to buy new brown sugar because it gets destroyed. Anyway, we add the milk and we add the melted butter. This and now we're gonna be mixing this. Stop in balls, you don't want the balls. And this is pretty much it. Like now after this, we add the chocolate chips because it wouldn't be a cookie without chocolate chips. So here it is and it's big chunks. Again, I cut a bar of chocolate and just put it inside. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, I think the chocolate is melting. It's totally melted, the chocolate. Crap, my chocolate is melting. I wasn't expecting that. No, it's not gonna be chunks of chocolate there. It's just gonna be melted chocolate. It's gonna be a chocolate cookie. You have failed me for the last time. No, okay. She puts it in the refrigerator so it gets like a little more texture, more hard. You could eat it, she said, like right away like this, but then it looks better, like, you know, if you make balls. And my chocolate is completely melting right now. This is not gonna be, this is a chocolate cookie now. Oh, I didn't think about that. Anyway, I'm gonna just put it in the refrigerator right now. And yeah. Okay, while that one is in the refrigerator doing its thing, hopefully not melting anymore, I'm gonna be going with the second uh, mock recipe. I wanna have all three ready before I test them so we can like enjoy one at a time. So the next one that she makes is the pizza mock. If this works and it actually tastes really good, my son is gonna love it because he's a pizza lover. So I'm really excited about this one. First, we are gonna put all the dry ingredients. I have the flour baking powder, salt, and then what she does is put the milk and a butter. I'm gonna be mixing this inside. I wonder if it changes it because the mocks are like this and like more open. Mine is like more weak. So I wonder if it changed something the cooking time or I don't know. But anyway, what she does is also she puts a little cheese inside because otherwise then you have like a big crust, which is just bread. And, but she adds a cheese in it, which I think is an amazing idea because then you have this crusty cheese inside. So I'm putting this uh, cheese that I have here. We're gonna be mixing this. And now we are gonna be popping this in the microwave. She says 45 to one minute. So I'm kinda like, I don't know what to do because how do I know if it's done or not? Because after that, she puts it again for like 45 seconds or something. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it a little bit in the microwave, 45 seconds, and then continue with this one. Okay, here's the first minute in the pizza. This will be the, oh, it smells so good, the cheese. This will be the dough of the pizza, but we still have to cook it a little bit more. So what we're gonna add to it now is a little bit of a tomato sauce or like the pizza sauce on top. Then we're gonna be adding some more cheese on top. And I like my pizzas very, very cheesy. So we're gonna be adding like this. And a, she adds pepperoni in it, but I'm not a big fan of pepperoni. So I'm gonna add bacon because that I like. And so I have these little pieces of bacon in there. Oh! And now when it's like this, we have to put it again in the microwave for 45 to one minute. And then we can test it. So we're gonna go back to that. 
look how yummy my pizza looks. Okay, it smells 100% like a pizza. This is, oh, I'm dying to test this. This looks delicious, but I'm gonna let it, leave it here for a side a little bit so we can finish with the last one and then we test all three together. Okay, and for the last one, we have a brownie, which also, you know, brownie and me, we're best friends. But the one thing that I'm scared of is that she melts the chocolate in the microwave with butter and this is like move it every 30 seconds just to make sure that the, the chocolate is not overcooking. And you guys know my experience with melting chocolate in the microwave. Yeah, we know. So I'm a little bit afraid of this one, but let's just cross our fingers and hope that we actually nail this one. Here's the chocolate and I'm gonna add the butter inside. And now we're gonna take it to the microwave and move it a little bit and send all your positive energy because this is the one that I'm nervous about. And that's why also I left it all the way to the end because I thought, okay, I'm gonna blow it no matter what. Okay, it's been there for like 40 seconds or something and it looks like this. So I'm thinking that it's melted enough. I'm afraid to put it for more time and then destroy it and burn it and all the problems that I have had in the past. So I'm just gonna leave it like this, I think. I think it looks good enough. I think this is the best I've done melting chocolate in the microwave, so I'm not gonna push this one further. I'm just gonna check what's the next step. Okay. Now we're gonna be adding the, where are you? Here, the milk inside. Now we're gonna add the sugar. So we're gonna mix this very well. Okay, this is not completely mixing nicely like hers. Anyway, now we are gonna be putting, adding the uh, flour, like so, and the baking powder. Now we're gonna mix this one nicely like so. It's very clumpy right now, what do I do? Okay, we're gonna be mixing it with this, I think, because I see that at one point she uses one of these. So we need all these flour clumps to go away. Now I'm more positive about how this will turn out. I wasn't that positive at the beginning. This looks good. And now this one is gonna go to the microwave for... This one is gonna go to the microwave for one minute, and after that, we are ready to rumba. It's looking good. Oh, and the smell. Okay, and for the brownie thingy, she uses melted chocolate to put on top, but because I wanna go a little extra, I melted some Nutella, and that is what I'm gonna be putting on top. Oh, look at how good this is. Okay, I'm burning my hands, but that's okay. Tell me I'm not a chef. And she decorates with these little M&Ms or candies, or I don't know, but I don't have that one, and I don't think it needs it. Like this, the smell is just amazing. Okay, so now, Okay, so now we have all these three here. Here's my cookie dough. Okay, it looks like a co chocolate cookie now because the chocolate totally melted. And I think maybe it needs more time in the refrigerator if I wanna make the nice balls that she made. But who has time for that? We wanna eat it right now. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start with the pizza because we first want the savory and then jump into the sweet, okay? And I don't want this to get too cold also because, you know, pizza cold, yeah. Now we're just gonna take a bite. Okay, here we go. I just made a pizza in a mug. Okay, the crust, the bread is not like crunchy like a, a pizza crust would be, but it's super good. It's, and, and of course, like adding the cheese makes it give that extra. This was so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, chew, thank you. I'm gonna be making this for my kids tonight. Like, no jokes aside. My son is gonna love it, and my daughter likes to make pizza with ketchup, so all Ilali is gonna hate me. Vafanapoli, huh? But now I can make it with her, to her, with ketchup, and then she's gonna love it. And now, which one should we try? Let's just go for the nice cookie dough that doesn't look as nice as hers, but I'm pretty sure it tastes cute. Let's just give it a, a little scoop. Mm. I mean, it's cookie dough. Mm, it's good and it's perfect and there's no more to say. Yeah, I'm a cookie monster So this one is super good. No, oh, it's perfect Like I said mine doesn't look as good as hers because my chocolate melted, but it tastes delicious Okay, and now last but not least we have our little brownie mug and this I want to try because usually all the cake mugs that you make in the microwave They turn like dry and like I don't know they don't have that mm. that you need So I'm very curious about how this will be. It looks really nice inside. Look inside. Like, oh, I'm burning. It looks moist and good and I don't know all the goodies inside. Okay, let's just try this. Oh, this was good. Like the brownie you see inside, how moist it is. I wanna take just brownie part. Like, can you guys see that it's like, it's not dry, it's very moist and nice and like, you can make like brownie little balls, you see? I, this is the texture that I look for with these things because I don't know when it's too dry. Everything glues inside, but this, this little texture and with the Nutella on top, 
Well, wear a bomb. This was amazing. Thank you so much, Emma, again for amazing recipes. And thank you all of you for being here. And don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please don't leave without subscribing. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you guys know every time that I upload or go live. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.